Need something? You must be talking about it. Hello, Tidbit. I serve Astrid and this I sanctuary. Life is simple and good. So the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment. And a little something else as well. From me. Consider it my way of apologizing. For being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Watch yourself out there.
If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Hmm. If you ever want to replace those old rags, stop by Radiant Rain. You're really going to the Blue Palace. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Remember Radiant Raymond when you need a change of attire. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers. By Azra. The gourmet. I... I'm sorry. I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. On another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Hmm, you're a Nord? I never would have guessed it. But where in the world did you learn to cook like that? Here in Skyrim? Or maybe somewhere less... Oh, well, huh. actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmets. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? Ah, of course. I suspected as much. All right. What next, then? Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay. Now what? Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it?
Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right then, you're secreting. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to. Pre I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. These things happen. Quite. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that... The vault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one, now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... But Help! What? No, no, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. I... Ah! <laughs> Help! You someone's being attacked! Ah! Hey, watch what you're doing! Ah! Ah! That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you. And the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. And make sure there's nothing left to bury. Never hey. You wanna go? Watch it there, brother. Uh, uh, 
will destroy you. By the order of the Yard, you have I committed command... crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart man. Now come along with us. I hope the wild need the following one reagents these days. for my studies. Please. I don't see how you have well, anything to discuss. Leave me be. What is it this time? Excellent. You've done us a great well, service. The whole Here is your reward. Move along. Just leave. Yes. I hope monster. Just go away. Got a lot of nerve coming here. Soldiers win wars, but where to put them is the Just key. Just leave. Good to see you. We have nothing more to talk about. This one only became dishonorable dog. You. Every time I look at you, my blood boils. What's Leave me alone. The Jarl's oh, what are you staring you smell at? like a witch. Like this piece of gutter trash. You mean? I hate you. I hate you forever Bother someone and ever. Else. Leave me alone. I have alone. nothing to say to you. What are you gawking at? Turns Leave out us you're alone. a screw up like the rest. You again. Back away. Off. What are you doing here? If you have with the passing of my dear husband Torig, the weighty position of Jarl has fallen to me. Please direct question. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. Now it would seem Ulfric has his wish. And there truly is no justice in the world. No. Although it's true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow, Ulfric Stormcloak is victorious. It seems I will never take my rightful place as High Queen. It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship... Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few... Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Oh, hello. Just tidying up.
Someday a gallant hero will ride up and take me away. Someday. I am the Jarl's steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let... There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Oh. Travelers disappearing, odd lights... I... I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, that was over 500 years ago. Nothing much done, well, by rights. But now, the mood will meet and choose Ulfric as High King. Because killing her, by leaving Elisif alive. With Ulfric's troops here, Elisif will be forced to... What's more, Ulfric's refusal to execute his slain enemy's wife will be portrayed as the ultimate act of... The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Steward. I will need the following questions. reagents for my studies. Please see to them. about those who depend on you so much. You, you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. together. Please, take pity on... My master has abandoned me. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no, no. He went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old... Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. Without his guidance, our homeland is falling apart. North wages war against South. The whole... Oh, but I'm sure he'll repay you when he comes to his senses. His favor is a powerful, powerful thing, and so very worth any inconvenience. He is a great man, but one rarely praised. He rules twin empires that span the length and breadth of our minds. All know him, but, f but he has forbidden me from saying his name. He says it distracts him, and woe to those who draw his ire. But you will know him when you see him. He's the one who made me like this. He stays in the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. The doors are... But I hear the maids, Una and Erdi, know how to enter it for cleaning. Surely they could help for such an important matter.
Oh, hello. Are you my gallant? Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's... Well, I suppose in that case, it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Don't Watch your feet. We just clean there. Your feet. We just well. clean I there. right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. A dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god. 
And that's hard to sport. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well? Spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, but seriously, what's the message? Where? By who? Wait! Don't tell me. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? What? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, horror was it one? I'm wrong on all account. Ha! No matter. Honest. But more to the point. Do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal? Actually, because that's crazy. You do realize. Who you're dealing with here? <sighs> oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. Bore! I mean, really. Here you stand, before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could... So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return. And you have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manip... Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less Tell so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. 
Use your Wabaja to defeat the enemy, while they do the same. that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of, and we're that much closer to home. been minding your own business. So, how... Oh, lovely! Now, all my... But you're not out of the woods yet. Get it? Ha! Ah, out of Pelagius! Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed. Oh, and this was inspired. Inside the mind of... Oh, is it your... First time? You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent.
got something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Yes? Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius's anger. Ah. His confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. seem to be having a small problem, or perhaps it's a big problem. Maybe they shrunk the whole thing down. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. I have a sick. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash, or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go, really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. 
Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha ha! Ta-ta! Burning of King Olaf was called off this year. I think some of the younger bards would have really gotten a kick out of it. Well, you can understand. True. I'm your typical solitude wench is like the city itself. Stormy exterior, but it's too bad they executed Drogvir before we got here. Come in, and shut the door. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Take a look.
Finally. I've got... You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? It's easy to find things to sell. Things no... I bet the two... My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I knew... With the war, many more ships come through these docks. Loaded with weapons and pay, but few people. And they pass through... We have an interest... The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in. But if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do... Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Turn me in? For what? What crime's been committed? A tragic and very, very profitable event. Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for their heroic rescue from their sad crash. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. You want something from me? That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours. It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where attire is concerned. Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little... We could fix you right up. Stay safe. 